Hey, what's up guys? I'm Prey Torrent and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we were playing as Great Britain. So we're going to continue our war against the Communists in today's episode. Killed like 150,000 of them in the last video, so this time we're going to try and kill a bit more. See what we can do here. We do have it up on speed 3 now, so we're going to go a little bit faster as we play. Sunk some more convoys there. Still waiting on that battle to finish up. It's been a real pain. In fact, we might even have to resend it. Uh, maybe should have waited until we had better control of the Mediterranean because yeah, that has not gone quite the way I would have liked. Uh, so, trying to get this territory wrapped up too. I have this guy grab those two. He's going through here getting those and he's getting all this. All right, so that should be done here fairly soon. In fact, let's go ahead and have this guy set up a fallback line in Alexandria so that he doesn't go back to, to Syria or try coming over here which we might need to send more divisions over here uh, you can see that we've already had one retreat uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to win on that one we'll just have to wait and see uh, sunk, sunk some more convoys over here uh, wow this has uh, been very costly for them over here for you know territory that's fairly irrelevant like this doesn't really matter uh, but yeah, it's, they've they've taken those losses unnecessarily. Uh, so we did finish up our uh, attack here, and let's go ahead and push behind these guys now. And once we take, well, I guess we got several locations here. Okay, so once we take these two and this one here, we'll have any divisions up here cut off from supply. Uh, we'll have this guy here probably go this way. And can we move? Let's move over to here. Yeah, we'll move on over to here and then probably go into that location next. We'll see where he's at at that point, where the rest of these divisions are. Because, yeah, it looks like he'll get there first. All right, so that'll cut off all the divisions up here. Uh, we are winning on that attack as well. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and push forward here, grab these locations. Looks like he'll be there soon. Fantastic. And... Uh, We'll probably just have this guy kind of take care of all that for us. Yeah, I suppose we're going to grab that location as well. As long as there's nobody there to, to stop us. And we'll just kind of sweep across this way. And then once we finish up here, then these divisions can go help out. Just try and get the African Theater uh, finished up. Uh, so this guy did get cut off. So now we'll get him destroyed. Excellent. We are having to actually fight somebody there. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and start moving down Move this out. way now. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that taken care of. Alright, so that went well for us. And very, very close to getting the win here, guys. Very close. Uh, that naval battle did finish up. We lost two convoys and lost two submarines. It's not too bad of a trade-off there. And the Ottoman Sultanate declared war on the Hellenic Republic. They declared war on Greece. Alright, well that's interesting. So because of the bug there... I guess we won't be helping at all with that. And the Greeks will likely just get conquered. Yeah, I assume that's what will happen if they can break through here. It could be kind of difficult for them. So yeah, the whole situation here essentially has changed. Uh, and they are looking to rejoin the Central Powers. Is there a Central Powers? Yeah, there's no Central Powers yet. Will this create the Central Powers? Let me just take a look here. Uh, what happens if there's no Central Powers? Will they create a faction? I guess is the key. It will. Germany will, you know, become the uh, the faction leader, and the Ottomans will join. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll see a central powers here very soon uh, with Germany and the Ottomans, and I expect we'll see Austria-Hungary and Italy join too. Uh, we finally sunk some some service ships here. Sunk two French destroyers. We lost three of our convoys there, but again, it's not troop convoys, so it's okay. Uh, but we are losing convoys. So that's something to consider. And just probably having a lower efficiency as well for our trading. Uh, luckily, we're not really trading for very many resources at this moment. Uh, sinking French convoys here as well. All right, so that's fantastic news. And I think this is the one that won't go away. Uh, go away here. Yeah, it just is uh, broken. Got to let it dissipate on its own. Sometimes that happens. Uh, so we did win over here. Still pushing forward there. Uh, we won here as well. Uh, we will just sit here and likely defend this location. Since we got the river bonus there. We're just not ready to cross in most of these areas yet. We'll cross there, though. 
All right, so he's already taken this location. Uh, let's go ahead and go see how we want to do this. This is going to grab this territory next and then over here, I suppose. All right, so they're attacking there. We'll let them do that. We're fine with that. That's how they want to do it. And yeah, we'll just go up behind them rather than trying to get over here. I think that's the better way to go. Let's go and attack over this way, get these guys cut off from supply. Uh, and then with this here, that'll result in these divisions being cut off too. All right, so Africa is going fairly nicely and we have finally finished the invasion here. Good God, that took way longer than anticipated. Let's go and put these guys on over to here and we'll likely take this guy and put him over here as well. And just need to finish this up here. We will not be sending all of these divisions over there, by the way. Some of them, like this guy here, will just rejoin that uh, defensive army and then just cover the ports here, I think. And I did not mean to get that selected. Just trying to delete this. We'll just have him over here covering this port for right now. So we have somebody in Egypt. While the rest of these divisions will be coming over here to get us a grand total of 12 divisions. Ready to move. All right, so we're gonna wanna try and to cut off divisions if we can. See how the best way to, to do this is gonna be. Probably have him go quickly seize these locations here. I'll we'll send this guy over this way. Need somebody to protect the port, obviously. Probably should have sent two divisions off that way. And then one division to go this way. All right, so let's see what's happened over here. Uh, three more convoys sunk. Another three sunk there. And yeah, we're just sinking so many troops in the sea. It's just ridiculous how many troops the French had in the sea. Now, some of those, you know, there's an excuse for the, the fact that they were out there before the war started. And uh, so it's not like they were putting troops into sea zones they didn't control. Well, they have put a lot of extra troops into the sea since the war started, and that's just kind of foolish. Uh, so maybe they thought they could contend. I don't know. Not entirely sure what was going on there, why they sent so many troops out to the sea. Uh, they are now cut off, uh, so we need to get them destroyed. And then have him come over this way is the idea here. He'll come over here. Actually, you know what? We'll have him go grab this location while he'll go up here. Try and get all this taken care of for us. All right, excellent. It's just two provinces away from getting these guys cut off. Uh, we'll keep on pushing forward here. He should be able to win there. And we are attacking across the river, but we're winning, so we'll keep it going. All right, some more troop convoys sunk. I mean, it's just just insane how many French soldiers are dying in the seas here. Now, some of those might be transport convoys, but I think most of them are not. All right, so this tank unit is going to be able to push forward really quickly here. That's why we sent them. And hopefully that allows us to get these guys cut off here this way is what I'm thinking. So we'll see if we can make that happen or not. We gotta kind of stop them. What's that's this division's purpose here? Try and swoop down here and stop them if we can. And then these guys here, we'll have them split up. One come over this way, while the other one comes down here and grabs that. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good in North Africa. Now that we've actually been successful on the invasion, it took us a while, but and now that we've been successful in that, things are looking pretty good at this point. All right, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, he's coming over here. That's right, we sent him there a little while ago. Uh, they are planning for this invasion here. Uh, they have their troops there, even though we're not actually sending those right now. Uh, they are attacking us over here. They are completely cut off from supply. They still have their air base though. But yeah, two divisions just sitting here. We're about to get wipe out, wiped completely out. All right, so attacking over that way, still waiting for him to come up over here. And we have no divisions in basic training, but that's okay. I know that we're kind of short on divisions, can definitely use more. Yes, sir. All right, so with this taken, 
They will not be cut off. Uh, they won't have their air base anymore, and that'll be helpful for us. Uh, but yeah, they'll not be cut off, and, and I almost don't want to build this air base now if it's not started yet. Uh, we already have it. Okay. Well, if it's already started, then nothing to be done about it. Let's just go ahead and move these guys over here. Get them helping out in that area. And we'll keep them here so that we'll maintain control of the skies there. Uh, we might want to move these planes, though. Uh, we don't need them over here any longer. Uh, we're going to want more planes here, but we do have to gain that air base. So I might just wait and see how large the air base is. It's 1,600, so we could put a bunch of planes there. Uh, but we have to cut this unit off here first. Uh, let's just do that now. I'm going to attack right here. Uh, so now I suppose we just want to go ahead and sweep across. And grab all the, the ports up. I think it's the best way to go about doing this now. Alright, get all this taken care of as well. And hopefully that'll stop firing when the Greeks are destroyed. I don't know though, guys. I think it might stick around. Which is kind of a shame. Yeah, just stupid numbers of troop convoys being sunk out in the sea. It's just ridiculous. Alright, so grabbing all this up. Yeah, he'll go up this way here. We'll get that guy cut off and then we'll be able to grab the airbase. Kind of a bummer he sat on the airbase because we could really have used having that a little bit earlier. Um, let's have one of these guys go up along the coast here. And we're just going to have him go straight over to the ports. And grab both of those as quickly as he can. And the rest of the units will fill it in. Could grab that one, but we'll have this guy here. Grab that one in Algiers. All right, so just waiting to get that guy cut off, which we've done. So let's go ahead and now get these guys destroyed. And he will come through here and grab all this territory for us. All right, so looking good. I uh, got another convoy sunk there. And uh, they'll just have their ports up along here once we take all North Africa from them. Let's go and take a look, see what's going on over here. All right, so need to take this province so they don't have anywhere to retreat to. And he'll grab all this for us. That should be done soon. Let's have this guy come on over to here now. Because we have cut these guys off, and uh, yeah, they're trying to stop him from grabbing that location. And I'm not entirely sure why these guys all took off here. That's not good. So we'll get that fixed. Uh, they did stop that attack there. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go and grab this province so that this will be cut off so they won't be able to put any troops over there. And let's go and do an attack here. Because why not? And then we'll kind of sweep down this way, I suppose. All right, so fronts are kind of all messed up. That's all right. It's to be expected. Uh, we could have this guy help out here. So I want to say that was the last thing, the dual purpose battery, I think is the last thing we're waiting on to get the battleship started. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and design those as soon as we get another tech selected here. we got the carriers going. Uh, so I suppose we'd want to go in and get cruisers and destroyers going. Which, on top of needing to actually get the, the models, you got to get all the stuff for them too. There's quite a few things that we'll have to get for them. I suppose we'll start with the, the cruisers. Go ahead and get the uh, cruiser hole, 57 days, to get that researched. Uh, look at all these naval battles. Now, uh, we'll do them in a minute. Let's build those uh, battleships. I don't know if we'll have the experience for it. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And interestingly enough, they did not take any of the stuff from this design. Yeah, they didn't take any of it for, for this one here. All right, well, that's unfortunate. That doesn't mean we're gonna have to spend the experience to put all the stuff on here. That's fine, I suppose. We'll wait to put the fire control on there. Let's do the radar here. I uh, hope we have enough experience. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I suppose they put the engines in there and stuff, but yeah, they didn't put the other sh other things that could have been in there. Uh, we even have to change the armor up. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think they took a different design. I think that's what happened. Well, they took uh, one of the other designs. That's the only way it could have went down, uh, from what I see. Uh, so we're gonna do the heavy battery here. I would like to get one more heavy battery, but I don't know if we'll be able to or not. 
if we'll be able to, uh, to support it speed-wise. I don't think so, because I'd like this, this battleship here to be 30 kilometers at least, so I don't think we'll be able to have that one there. We'll probably have to either make a lower level, uh, you know, heavy gun to increase the speed, or we could put anti-air there as well. That'd be a uh, option for us. Uh, so we want secondary batteries in some of these locations. Yeah, they're not gonna have the speed here, guys. We're gonna have to take that off. So could just change over to anti-air to speed it up. Can also go with a bigger gun. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, a lower level bigger gun. Uh, could go and put, you know, the uh, airplane catapult here, but I think we'll just put those on the cruisers. I meant to put those on the support cruisers, and I forgot. That's uh, one of the, the things the, cru the support cruisers do for us. They help us with the, the surface detection. And then I just completely forgot to put those onto the support cruisers. So on the next line of support cruisers, we'll make sure we have them, guys. So we might want to put another one of these on here. And then, as you can see, the speed is horrible. So we can not get it to 30 kilometers with this many dual-purpose guns. Unless we just went to anti-air. I suppose that works, but then you lose a lot of heavy attack. So that's not really desirable. Yeah, I don't really want to lose all that heavy attack. So we might want to change up one of these instead. The anti-air is slightly less heavy. So you could do that. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and change over to the heavy battery one, reducing heavy attack by a bit as well as heavy piercing. And then we just need to get a little extra speed here but you'd probably do that just by changing up the anti-air. Yep, change up to anti-air and then you're at 30 kilometers. Uh, we don't have this on here though, but that won't decrease the speed at all. I wanna do this last because I wanna see how much it impacts it by. See if it's worth the, uh, the lower uh, reliability here. Yeah, I suppose so. Why not? It's gonna be a, a big little bu uh, bump on the heavy attack. So I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, we don't have 59 experience, unfortunately, so, damn it, I didn't even see how much I was spending. Uh, so we're going to have to make a couple adjustments here, just remove, just to get the uh, experience down. I don't know if we had... Okay, so yeah, we didn't have that on there yet, and change that back to the one. So we'll just have to come back and finish this up once we have a bit more experience. So this is going to be named the Edward. Now I know it says Edward the Third, but of course that's because it's the the level three here. Uh, somebody said we should name it Edward the Eighth. We know that's after Edward, our King Edward. And uh, I think this is good to go for now. And we'll build it once we get. I don't know how much experience it was. We need like five more. I don't know. It's not much, frankly. So yeah, we'll uh, get it designed and then put some dock carrots into it and get a building. All right, so got two units cut off there that are almost destroyed. They're trying to win here and they're not gonna see any success, obviously, as you can see, that will allow us to take this location and the airbase that's there. So that'll be helpful. And then we're gonna have, I think we're just gonna go ahead and attack here. Yeah, cause he'll be there in less than a day. So let's just go and attack over here now. Uh, this is clearly not gonna work, so we'll need to stop that. Uh, we'll go this way instead. All right, so that's been wrapped up, so let's gonna put a uh, division down here. Continue pushing the front forward there. And he's gonna have that taken care of soon, too. And he's pushing forward over here. I uh, didn't take a look at the North Africa situation. Let's see how that's going. Uh, grabbing all those ports up, fantastic. He's moving towards that one. Uh, let's have this guy go over here. Get all this territory taken. He'll grab that for us. Should be able to win there easy enough. And we already have him taken care of that, so let's just make sure any other troops here go over to that location. I did sink another submarine here, and another one, and another one. That's three submarines. Uh, we lost three convoys, which are likely those troop convoys, unfortunately. Yeah, they did engage our convoys there. All right, so he's taking care of this, and she can just do those three provinces there. Uh, more and more French 
convoys sunk in the sea. Just been disastrous for the French in the sea. And yeah, they've lost so many troops. And we still haven't finished this up yet. And yeah, they were able to keep that going despite the, the lack of supply there. Uh, so these guys, let's go and attack with everything we got here. Uh, and then he'll come over here. And then with this plane here, suppose we'll want to move him over here and him over here. All right, excellent. So what I think we should probably do is move some of the divisions on over to here because we just don't have enough. Uh, so he's coming over here already. Uh, we'll have him take care of that for us. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need this many troops over here. So let's actually take two of these and move them on over here. Because, yeah, it's just not going to take very long to get all this wrapped up. We'll take that port, and then any units that are here will be cut off from, from supply. Uh, so we can get an air doctrine. Okay, and I think we've done yeah all the air bonuses here. So, yeah, let's start knocking out the air doctrines. So this time I think we're going to go for a strategic destruction. Uh, we don't have to go for battlefield support. Uh, but I, I really like going for this one whenever I play as the British. Uh, we do often do more strategic bombing as the British than with other countries. Also, there's some nice naval uh, mission efficiency bonuses over here. You get that 15% and you get it earlier than the other ones as well. I think the other two only give it 10%. So yeah, these ones are all the way down here and they're both 10%. So you get that 15%. Uh, but then also, this one here, and this is my main issue with battlefield support, and I often go for this one, uh, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't increase the agility for the fighters. It only increases the agility for the close air support. But the other two both have increases to the agility for the fighters, 10%. Uh, so yeah, that makes your, your fighters a lot better as well because agility is so important in the naval battles, or excuse me, the air battles. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go for air superiority here, get fighter detection up to 10%. And yeah, we'll go for a different one than we, we often go for. Because uh, that one gets you some nice bomber defense too. So that's useful to have. But yeah, sinking all those convoys out there. Again, that's the majority of the casualties we caused have been in the seas. Uh, we have cut off several divisions and destroyed those as well though. Alright, so let's go ahead and have this guy come over this way. Let's try and get this all finished up here. He'll come over here. These guys are grabbing this for us. And just that one location left to get. All right, so the conquest of North Africa was fairly easy outside of the, the naval invasion, which is the only place we actually had any difficulty. Uh, that's not going to work, so we'll just stop it. And I don't know why he's going over there. I'm assuming he's set up to come to this location. Yeah, seems that's be, that is the case. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a, a planning bonus here. Not sure where all those divisions are coming from. Yeah, these two over here should be coming to this location. All right, so getting those two divisions wiped out, too. And uh, pushing forward and grabbing that port there. All right, so we are in June now. And yeah, we're just sinking stupid numbers of convoys, but losing our own convoys as well uh, in this area because we're not protecting that location. I think we'll just shut off access to it. But if we did that, then the, the submarine's going to go through there. But I suppose it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll just take out the uh, the submarines here, not have them operate there anymore, and then just stop the convoys coming through here because we're just losing too many too many convoys in that area. There's no reason to keep keep going there if we can avoid it. And I, I just don't want my main uh, fleets anywhere near their coastline outside of here where we have fighters to protect them. You know, so we'll just cut off access there, and so we won't have any more issues with that location. Uh, these guys ready to go? Let's try and send them. So we'll send them again, see if that ends up working out. I uh, could have trained that one up, so he kind of got experience up. It's too late now, though. <laughs> it's not too late, but we're going to say it's too late. There's no fixing it, guys. It's just too late. All right, so what we need to do is grab that port behind these guys, get that one division cut off there. Almost got those divisions wiped out. There we go. Beautiful. So that's been finished. Uh, let's have this guy come over here now. And this area is going to be a little bit troublesome to move through. And have him come over to this front now. Oh, they actually did get some divisions over here. Okay, so how many do we have currently assigned? Just the three. 
Okay, so we'll probably want to take a couple more then, in this case, and get them coming over here. Alright, so more battles over here. They're just uh, pumping convoys through here. It's, this is just a killing zone. Able to kill quite a few convoys there. And I almost want to get our naval invasions started planning for over here, because everything else is going so well. We should be able to do our invasions, which we'll do a bunch of them. Uh, we'll be hitting both the south and the north here. But yeah, I wanted to get all these colonial territories wrapped up just in case. Just in case we see, uh, where the hell is this guy going? Okay, coming over here. Um, I don't know why he's coming over there, because I didn't send that guy over there. And I don't know where he came from, either. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why he's moving over to that location, because he's supposed to be over here. I guess we'll have him a fallback line here, because yeah, I think that's what happened there. Let's move him back to, to Egypt. But yeah, I just hate how they do that. It's just really frustrating. Yeah, I'm not sure I got assigned to that. But yeah, if you have a, uh... Oops. Although I don't think we have anybody... Oh, we do have... Maybe it's not planned yet. Oh, there he goes. Alright, so we'll go and take that location real quick. But yeah, if you have, uh, any orders set up... And there's divisions in that army that, uh, don't have any orders... Then they'll just assign themselves to orders... And they, they changed that a while ago, and I really don't like it. It was uh, one of those few changes that I don't like. Usually when they change stuff, it's it's for the better. Uh, but this has been one of those that has not been for the better. Uh, we have grabbed all the ports up here, so the last port where they can bring troops to is that one. And then we no longer have to worry about the French bringing troops over here, and we can just get this wrapped up. Any troops that are here need to go there. Alright, excellent. A lot less manpower than we did have, and I think that's garrisons. And People's Republic of China declared... This is about... Oh, declared victory, I think. Yeah, I think they finished up, and they haven't really. They still gotta take Shangxi out, and then Xinqing. Now, they are pushing forward there and having success. I wonder if the French are helping them and the Mexicans. They might be. Because, yeah, they're doing pretty well, and I assume that the Republic of China didn't have very many troops. But, yeah, they're, they're pushing forward. They're having progress there. All right, so one last convoy sunk there before, uh, before we shouldn't be going there any longer. Not sure how these troops are still in the sea. I would expect they have already made it, maybe because they're getting engaged by convoys, or excuse me, by uh, convoy raiders. Submarines. That's what I assume happened there. Alright, so more troops moving over to this front here. Uh, so they're going to start pulling back now. Let's go ahead and take this territory. Alright, and trying to start moving towards those those ports. And is this guy leaving yet? He's trying to. Alright, so we did take that port. Excellent. So that's the last port here. Oh, nope. I got one more. Alright, so that's a shame. I didn't realize there was another one there. Alright, so we have to go all the way down there in order to stop them from having a supply here. Go, go, go. Let's make sure we have a planning bonus here. And currently have five divisions, and I think that's probably enough. I think that should be enough anyway. Let's have this taken care of here. And... Orders. I mean, if there's no troops here... You might want to do is just go ahead and go straight on over and just send like both of them over here and then I'd love to grab that port there he'll probably get out that's okay but yeah just get all these ports snatched up I'd really like to get Africa finished up if we can uh, this is across a river so yeah not gonna work out for us I'm gonna get that taken and then just have both of these guys go over here real quick all right, excellent. Uh, we might want to take a look at our planes. They're both in this area. Now, the fighter can't reach over here. So you can bring him here so you can get a bonus there. And then bring him over here. Yeah, I suppose that works out. Although, let me just take a look. That's actually part of it, but that's okay, because we're not going to attack there. We're going to try and get him around. Uh, get around him there. 
Uh, over here, don't really need any of the planes. Uh, we didn't need them over here. So we'll want to move those elsewhere. We'll keep the bombers here. Yeah, move like the fighters. Could bring more over to the English Channel. Uh, did we ever build any of the air bases up over here yet? Not just yet. All right, so we're gonna have to wait on that. So we're just gonna bring them to the English Channel then. And you know what? We never actually had these guys bombing. We had him doing it. Okay, so he was supposed to be providing us uh, air superiority and he wasn't. Uh, but we did have him bombing. Okay. I was about to say, that's unfortunate that we didn't have them set up. Uh, let's go ahead and set these guys up to actually do some naval bombing here. Do the naval strike. Try and get control here. And then with them, see where we want to set them up. There's no air bases to really utilize there. We could help out here though. Yeah, why not? And uh, do the naval strikes. Since a lot of troops going through there. And then with these fighters that we have over here, see where we want to, to put them. I guess we'll do 200 into this location. And then the, the 100 here. We'll bring them back home. Because we're going to try and increase that number a bit. And then maybe train them up. Uh, we do have some close air support that we had training here that aren't doing anything. Uh, so let's go and put them out somewhere too. And I think we're going to move them over to here. And then again, just have them do the uh, the naval strikes. See what they can, what they can do for us. Alright, we lost one of our submarines there, unfortunately. That might be the first ship we had sunk outside of convoys. Yeah, I want to say that's the first like uh, ship we lost. Warship. So not bad. Could be much worse. And yeah, we could try and attack here with both units. Maybe that'll work. But no, it won't. Okay, it's about to stop that. So we did just give up our entrenchments. Hopefully they don't attack us. But yeah, look at all these these uh, convoys we sunk. It's just insane. Like, what are the convoys doing up there? Oh, wow. Okay, so they actually had somebody over here in Casablanca to stop us. So what we're going to want to do now is, like, just get the territory around the port taken out. We'll take out that, and then probably come back around here and take out... Nope, oh, not that way. <laughs> come over this way, and then come back around here. Although I'd actually like for him to leave there. I guess if we cut him off from doing, doing that, then... I mean, he might not leave anyways. Let's get that taken. Alright, so... This is obviously far more units than we need over here. Uh, to get this job done. But so far, Mexico, China, and the United States have not joined this war yet. So we've been very lucky in that regard. Sunk another French submarine there. I'm hoping they don't ever join, but I don't think we'll be so lucky. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky enough the Americans won't join, but not lucky enough where uh, neither Mexico nor China will help out. I expect one of them at least to, to join the conflict, if not both of them. Especially now that China has kind of wrapped up a lot of the their enemies here, just really trying to take out Shangxi at this point. So we'll just see what happens there. And again, we could create our own faction, but I don't want to do that yet. Did lose a convoy here. It was one of those troop convoys, but we sunk a submarine. All right, so he's taking care of all this for us here. Yeah, this is going smoothly. And Japan has declared war on Sinking. Out of all the countries, the one they can't reach. And so that's why I don't want to create a faction, because we just don't know what's going to happen. If we had created a faction and then, like, say, had Shangxi and Sinking in that, we would now be at war with Japan and Russia. Now, maybe they wouldn't have declared war, but typically the AI doesn't really seem to care about stuff like that, like whether an enemy is worth it. I mean, they, they declared war on Sin King, who they can't even reach, so it kind of shows you they don't really have any logic when it comes to who they declare war on, for the most part. And so, yeah, we would be at war with uh, Japan and, and Russia right now. Uh, so, yeah, there's good reason to, to wait. 
kind of see how the situation develops because a lot of countries right now are not very far in their focus trees so we just don't know what's going to happen and that's why i think it's better to to wait all right get all that taken care of here and then this unit's going to wrap this territory up for us and he can take care of that i doubt we'll need all these divisions over here We'll let him go anyway, though. Why not? Because we're just going to be keeping on North Africa anyways. Alright, so pushing forward here to grab that location. Let's go and grab this one as well. And we're going to try and get behind him and grab that port. I'll fight him across the river into a jungle. It's really not the, the best way to do that. Uh, he might reach there before us. Let's see, he gets there in one day in nine hours. Uh, it's going to be three days and one hour for us, so yeah, we won't be there anytime soon. Uh, the attempt to get the port did not work. They got divisions there. Let's go and take this location. We'll let him go there. Make sure that these divisions are both assigned here. All right, he's pushing forward over here. Well, he's going over this way. Uh, just one province left to take, so it might be better to have him go this way and him to take out that port Ready, and then go and take all this territory out here out. all right so again Africa's going fairly well I never did finish this up so let's go and do that get those two divisions wiped out got the ace pilot and got a bit more war support getting that stability up remember we're currently Doing the improved worker conditions. We're at 45%, just trying to get that up a little bit higher. Uh, and Shangzi has been defeated. Again, as China wraps up the warlords and, and all the, uh, the rest of China, basically, they will be more likely to, to join the conflict against us. Oh, one thing I didn't think about is that Japan can invade Xinjiang because they have the Russians. I had forgotten all about that. They can invade from Russia. Maybe that's why they did it. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't change my point that the AI does do a terrible job deciding who to attack and when to attack and which faction to join and all that kind of stuff. They don't seem to have a lot of logic with that. Uh, but yeah, they actually did have a reason to, to attack them. And they'll be pushing into sinking through Russia. I, I keep forgetting that they have Russia as a subject because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> so I don't even think about it. All right, so slowly getting this all here done. Let's go and push forward here. He's going to take out these two locations for us. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to pull him off of that when it's almost done. And he will go down here. Let's take a look at what's happening down here, because it looks like it all got messed up a bit. I'm trying to get that damn port. And I'm not sure what happened there. Why everybody's all leaving. Let's go and fix that. Uh, we do have this port wide open here. They left. That's pretty silly to go take this province over here. Uh, whatever. <laughs> do your thing, man. All right. So, yeah. Africa is going to be done soon, which is great. Really happy to have this done. Uh, it doesn't mean we're done for good because there is still uh, the Italians here in Libya and here in Ethiopia. Uh, we'll have to take out those if we find ourselves at war with the, the Central Powers, which is a possibility. And that's if the Italians join the Central Powers as well. So war in Africa is not done for good. And then there's also South Africa, which we haven't dealt with the Dominions yet. Uh, I know some people are wondering why I, I haven't done that. And honestly, it's not as much of a priority as taking the French out was. Uh, I felt like this was really important because I don't want the Americans to have a, a base of operations here in Europe. And so I felt like that was pretty important for us uh, to try and make sure the Americans have nowhere to operate over here. And I like the idea of getting all these colonial territories taken quicker. And it's really nice to just have it done. Before you have like the insane numbers of the later game, and then you have like stupid numbers of troops in Africa where there's no supply. Yeah, we lost those convoys there, unfortunately. Every time we put troops in the Mediterranean, they do get uh, attacked. Surprisingly. You know, we control the sea here, but, but yeah, they're still able to, to engage our our uh, troop convoys. Uh, the submarines can. 
I'm wondering if they're planning some naval invasions across here. That's a real possibility. They do have to get control of the sea in order to do it. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a concern because we do not have very many troops in this area. So we might want to shift some troops over to Asia uh, once we're done here in Africa. Like, particularly these three is what I'm thinking. Once they're done, I think they're going to Asia. Well, they could get engaged over there as well, but we haven't really seen uh, many uh, ships, uh, French ships over there. Uh, so these guys are done now. Let's go ahead and put them into the Asian army. Put them over here and then just have them set sail. And we'll figure out where all we want to put them. We have one there, one there. I'd like to put two more in Hong Kong because these are not very good divisions. So let's take two of these guys and have them come over to Hong Kong. And then one we only have one division in each of these provinces. I don't think they'll be able to do the invasion there or anything, but we'll have him come over here. Or you know what? Actually, he needs to replace that division I took from there. I do want to have somebody there. All right, so he'll go over there. Oh, nope, nope. We gotta stop all his orders. <laughs> have him come back over to here, and then come over here. All right, fantastic. More, uh, French convoys sunk. They just keep on putting those troops in the sea. They haven't learned their lesson yet. Hundreds of thousands dead. And they haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so this is an unfortunate development. They do actually have some troops here, so we're going to have to wait before we can get all that taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. They're trying to reconnect this here. Okay, so we'll actually have to attack them to stop them from doing that. Then we'll attack this location here. And let's send another division down here. All right, so he's already assigned to that. That's fine. And he's coming over this way. Still one more port here as well, or a couple more ports over here that we gotta get taken care of. So this has been snatched, fantastic. Uh, so we need to take those guys out there next. We want them all to stay here with the exception of this guy. He can come over here real quick and, and get this taken out, taken out for us. And so yeah, it's just this division here now that doesn't have supply. And we want to get him destroyed. All right, this port has been taken as well. Excellent, so we'll try and get over here. Although that wouldn't actually cut them off. So you'd have to take both of these locations here. They're attempting to reconnect themselves by attacking that really weak division. So we'll need to help them make sure that doesn't end up being a success for them. And China was just pulled in the conflict. Okay, so now they'll be able to attack from Hong Kong before we were able to get those troops over there. So yeah, we are at war. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're at war with them. It's just not updating when it comes to the red here. So it's confusing, but yeah, we're at war with China now. So yeah, they can attack from here. We'll have to see if they do. I assume not because of the high forts. That might be high enough actually to stop them from even considering attacking there. How are we doing on finishing this up? He's almost over there. Let's go and take care of all this here. He's going to grab that for us. And you know what? Supply is so bad, it's probably about time to go and get the naval invasion uh, started planning over here. Uh, which will be from this port here. All right, so just go and start assigning these divisions over there. And he's already taken care of that for us, so we'll assign one more over there. We still probably have far more divisions over here than we actually need. Uh, let's go and attack that unit there now. And we're going to do the same thing with this guy here. Have him come over here and help with the, the moving the front forward rapidly. Even though the tanks do, you know, suck pretty bad at naval invasions. Uh, this guy can get set up over there as well. Oh wait, no, 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 that's that's right. We have him coming over here. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can take all these guys here, have them come over to that naval invasion. Just get some of these troops out of here since we do have some supply issues. We do have a decision available as well. This is just war propaganda, which we don't need to do right now. 
and uh, more Convoy Snug. This has been a killing zone here, man. We've done fantastic in that uh, sea region. Uh, they do have more troops over here, guys. Yeah, they keep on sending troops over here, but still not enough to, to win. But they keep on pumping troops over here. I mean, this guy's really weak because that's the one we were sinking all his convoys to. But yeah, they keep on pumping troops over here. We could end up having an issue there. Uh, these guys have not taken off. They're supposed to be assigned to that. But they did not take off. That's strange. I'm not sure what happened there. I think my yellow army got all messed up at some point. Yeah, I think they got kind of screwed up at some point. I'm not sure when. Uh, he's... He failed the invasion. I wonder what happened there. They must have had a division defending or something. I mean, how else would, would he have failed? I'm guessing they did a naval invasion over here. The Turks. Because, yeah, they have those two locations. Right, we'll kind of watch the Turkish-Greek war a little bit. And pay attention, see what happens there. I'm interested. Uh, so even with these two divisions, we still can't win here. Okay, well, that's surprising. Um, then we'll have to send more over to that front then. Keep your distances. So let's just stop this if it's not going to work. Have both of these guys assigned here. Ready, then when he gets done with this location, we'll come have him come over there. Yes, sir. And then probably send one more division as well. For a total of four, though we will not defend this location. Since we won't be attacking across the river there. Ready. So yeah, maybe with uh, four divisions, that'd be enough. Maybe even send a fifth one, actually. We'll send this guy as soon as he takes this. Alright. Oh, he's already went gone over there. Alright, excellent. Okay, so these divisions here are now cut off. Let's go and get them destroyed. Uh, we almost let them take that province. That was disastrous. Or would have been disastrous. I mean, I guess we might not win here. Still waiting on more troops to come over here as well. Uh, let's have him come over here and, and try and get this territory taken. Or we can just go this way, I suppose. And then stop them from being able to reconnect with a, a port, which I really don't want them to do. Okay, so getting this cleaned up here. This guy doesn't have any supply, but not as weak as you'd expect him to be. Yeah, you think he'd like to start to take attrition now. Or maybe it hasn't been long enough. It's a possibility. Um, let's have this guy take care of this. And him come over here. To this province here. So we can attack with three units. And get them destroyed. And... I'm not sure... Okay, he's moving over there. I suppose that's fine. Oh, he just got defeated. I see. So if we lose that, then they will reconnect to supply. Alright, so got a few convoys sunk over here. Had a couple of our planes shot down as well. Uh, but so far, we haven't really seen any French ships. It doesn't seem like they have any operating here at all. I imagine they're focusing exclusively on the Mediterranean and, and the Atlantic theaters, which makes sense. That's where they should be focusing on. Though losing that colonial territory in Indochina would be big for them. And big for us. That'd be really helpful. Uh, but now we got to fight China. Uh, so it's kind of a different situation. I almost don't want to invade there at all. And just focus on the invasion of, of uh, France. Because I assume... God, look at those casualties. 434,000. Wow. Uh, we were going to look at that here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I assume that they're the only major power that has to be defeated. They are not. We have to defeat China too. Okay. So defeating France is not enough... To win the war we actually have to defeat china they're now a major power they have enough factories and so we do have to defeat the chinese okay so just invading france would not be enough to get the war over and thus i'm really glad that we did wrap up their colonies i think that was the good uh the good way to go the best choice for us i think uh there was no better way to to do that all right so they're gonna take this territory so even if we lose this battle which does look like we will be losing it they will still not be able to connect to supply. Yes, Although, I think this is a port, isn't it? Yeah, it is a port. Now, they, they had a port anyways, to be clear. 
So I guess there's uh they weren't actually uh, cut off from supply completely, which is probably why we're having some difficulty here. Yeah, we'll go to this location instead. Now, we did get to expand the repair yards that allow us to repair those ships faster and get us some helpful dockyards, which we might have enough naval experience to finish up the battleships. We'll take a look at that. I'm trying to move over here. Jeez. Okay. I don't know if we want to attack India just yet or go ahead and finish up in China. But we will need to basically be pumping a lot more troops to the Asian theater with us on to fight China. So it would make sense to, to get India finished up at some point soon. Uh, so let's see what all we got here. We can fortify East Asia. And that'll give us two dockyards, but one of those is in Hong Kong. It would allow us to build land forts and coastal forts faster. So that would be helpful. Yeah, these would all get us like coastal forts and all that kind of good stuff. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, this would increase production costs of destroyers and convoys. Or reduce the construction costs, excuse me. I think we should probably get the one reducing the cost of the fighters, though. Yeah, I think that would likely be the best thing for us to get here. Uh, getting another radar bonus would be useful, too. Uh, in fact, we might need that before we research any further radar. Yeah, because that'd be the three uh, research bonuses here. So you wouldn't want to do any more until you got that. Uh, but that does require us to get two of these here. Now, this also gives us anti-air be useful against the French and, and particularly if the Americans end up joining their faction. Uh, but let's get the fighter one first so we can get those built quicker. And we're almost done with that radar. Three more days and we'll have the radar done. All right so we're about to take that location so we can put these guys over here now. And just wait until we get more troops over here. And Austria-Hungary did just join the Central Powers. Uh, so there we go we have Oh, did Germany form the Central Powers before the Ottomans did it? It looks like they did. So now, this is all messed up. Because shouldn't they have a... Uh... Yeah, that's weird. Maybe we just got to give it a second? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what, what happened there. Uh, but all I can think of is that the Germans formed the Central Powers first and then that bypassed the Ottoman one. But wouldn't that result in them joining the central powers rather than creating it i thought that's how it worked but perhaps not uh, we now know that austria hungary and germany are in the central powers and are allied together uh, we just don't know what's going to happen with italy or the ottomans just yet and then of course there's the kingdom of poland as well uh, i don't think they'll join the central powers more than likely they would be an enemy with them uh, that's a real possibility we'll just have to wait and see what happens there's still a lot of developments to to wait on i wish we could see what they're doing That'd be nice if we can see what the Germans are, are currently working on. Uh, manpower is getting lower, as you can see here. I'm glad I didn't pump out a bunch of units. I think that would have been a problem for us. Still winning there, uh, but eventually that's going to turn against us. Uh, I think we're ready to start this attack here, so let's go ahead and do that. Into Casablanca and get that last port taken. All right, so this will be the invasion here. We'll want to get invasion set up here in southern England to invade northern France. Uh, and then we have all those ships going over to Asia. And now we're just kind of wrapping this area up as well. Just that last division to get taken taken out. And then all this will be ours too. Uh, this is just about done as well. Might be a few divisions we have to fight here. Uh, for the most part, this should be over soon. And then we'll be done with Africa. And we'll be able to focus on Asia and Europe. It does look like we're losing here. So we might have to send more divisions to America because clearly... Uh, this is not working for us. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the Yellow Armies, all their attacks here. So we'll just stop that, have these guys go over here, and we'll have them train as they, uh, once they get back. Let these guys all train up, make up for those those losses they've taken. Maybe they'll do a little bit better. Uh, but frankly, we're going to need some more troops. I mean, these guys suck anyway. I thought I would just be able to quickly take these locations. These are not the divisions we want to be sending on naval invasions, honestly. So we might need to send some, some better divisions uh, just to the Americas, period. Uh, because it looks like this war is going to last a little bit longer than I was thinking because of China becoming a major power. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll be focusing on France next as soon as we finish over here in Africa. Uh, we'll be doing the invasion of, of France. And then after that, we'll, we'll shift gears over to the Asian theater. Uh, and then we'll try and get this America situation wrapped up here, too. Uh, try and get all the French islands here taken out.
and get that little territory as well. I don't want to devote too much to over here, though, uh, because obviously there's there's not a lot of uh, French territories over here for us to be fighting. Now, there is Metzgo, though. Uh, Metzgo has not joined the war just yet, uh, so I don't think they'll be a major power. I think it'd have to be a bit later for them to have enough factories to be a major power. But yeah, that's something to consider as well. Uh, we do have army experience to spend. We won't do that now. The last thing we're going to do is see if I can get these ships building the Edwards. I'm going to see if we have enough experience. I don't remember how much we needed. Uh, we do have those radar, though. And the dual purpose. And that right there is too much. All right. So that's a shame. All right, let's, let's find out how much we need here, guys. We need the radar. We need the dual purpose. And the armor. 16 experience is what we need to get this done. All right, uh, so we'll just wait a little bit longer so we can get that uh, battleship going. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to have to be the end of today's episode, though we will take a look at the casualties again. I know we just kind of peeked in here, but I didn't really look at the specifics. Uh, we've taken 53.1 thousand casualties, and that 53 thousand casualties by the French compares to 443 thousand casualties against them. So very good kill-death ratio. It's not too shabby at all. It's over 4.0. That's much higher than 4.0. Uh, so yeah, we've done pretty good uh, against the French. And uh, they have less than 100 divisions now. Uh, we don't know the exact number here. Probably 90-something, maybe 80-something. Kind of depends how many trips we sunk in the sea, which we're not clear on. Uh, China has maybe 50 divisions, maybe less. Somewhere around there. We don't know for sure, but yeah, they have a... Uh, Less divisions than us, uh, but overall we're definitely outnumbered when it comes to divisions. If you look at the field of manpower, uh, we're similar in field of manpower, so their divisions are probably cruddier than ours, or smaller at the very least. And then of course you got the Mexicans who haven't joined yet, but they'd bring another like 20-something divisions into the fight. Uh, looking at the, the French fleet, take a look at how their fleet looks at this moment. Uh, they don't have any carriers. They have the four battleships, 45 destroyers, seven heavy cruisers, seven light cruisers, and 25 submarines for a total of 88 ships. I suppose we can take a look and see exactly how we've done against them. Now, you can see that we've lost 24 ships total. And those are all convoys here, but if you look in the last month, then you'll see that it steps up a bit. So yeah, if you look at the last month, we lost two submarines. That's it. That's all we lost. Uh, total, we've lost like... Because uh, I don't think these are counted in this one. So I think it's it's 30 convoys total here. Well, if you look at how many they've lost. I mean, this is just a stupid number. Uh, 17 submarines here. 11 here. Uh, three destroyers. Well, there's two sets of numbers down here. I'm assuming those are like convoys they got from another country or something like that. Yeah, maybe uh, when they annexed the other France. And so in total... They've lost, like, 400-something convoys, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. So we sunk a lot of a lot of convoys already. Uh, so we've done pretty pretty well so far in the seas. But not really sinking those surface fleets, uh, unfortunately. I'm, I'm guessing they're not putting them out much. Because we would have engaged them if they were. Except for maybe in this one location. Yeah, that's, like, the only area they're even messing with. So what we would need to do... Let's put our fleet here if we want to really get these guys sunk. Uh, maybe tactical bombers. You put a tactical bomber wing over here to give us some naval support. And I suppose then we could put our fleet over here and, and try and engage theirs. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.